All right, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about color scheme and prefers color scheme. Now, prefers color scheme is a media query, and color scheme is actually just a CSS property. We're going to talk about both and how you can use them together. So to start with, my page right here. In my system, I've got my color scheme set. So on Mac, you can come into System Preferences, go into General, and here's the settings. So mine's on Auto right now, saying I don't have a preference. Light, I don't see any difference on the page. Dark, there, you can see that up here, the Chrome changed in the browser. So I'm going to leave it on Dark for, the, for now, and we'll see the impact that that has on different things that we're doing. If you're on Windows, if you want to set your color scheme preference, if you don't know how to do that on Windows, go to the window menu, the start menu, um, into settings, personalization colors, and you can set light or dark, and then you can actually personalize those colors, but just going to light and dark will get you to the same point that we're at right here. Now, there's two different ways that you can set a color scheme for your page. The two different options are just like in the settings, light and dark. The way we can set it, the first way we can set it, is with this meta tag right here. So meta name is color scheme, and then the content, you list which ones you want to support. So if I said light, what I'm saying is my page, my web page, supports a light color scheme. Nothing on my page changed because my preference in the system settings was for a dark color scheme, but my page doesn't support that, so there's no way to apply that. If I add dark into this, now I'm saying my page does support both light and dark color schemes. So the system colors are going to be applied. The system colors for a dark color scheme get automatically applied. And I'm going to have another video talking about those system colors. But for now, just know that the user agent, the browser, it has a set of light colors and a set of dark colors. So default values to use. You know, for years and years and years, this is what every web page in the world was. If you didn't have any CSS, you got this, the white background, the black text. So we are now having the ability that we can provide both. And we can say our web page supports both. So this is the meta tag. In CSS, the way that we can do the exact same thing as this meta tag is we create some styles for the root and we say color scheme. And then what do we want to provide? Well, the exact same thing. Now I can write light, dark or dark light. Either way, these two things are doing the exact same thing. By writing it in the opposite way, all I'm saying is that the author of the page has a preference for dark. But these two th things do the exact same thing. The only difference between them is that this is in the HTML, so it's going to be read before the CSS is. So while we can do either, this is probably the more preferable thing to do. This way, you're going to have your color scheme selected even before the CSS is rendered. So you're going to be getting those defaults in that millisecond before the CSS gets applied. Okay, so great, we can say light or dark, but you know, once I go into my CSS, if I do something like this, I can say, okay, all my elements, I want uh, gold as my text color. Okay, so that's applying everywhere. And if I didn't have a color scheme, or if I changed my preference, I go back in here and I say my preference is light. Now I've got this horrible thing here. No contrast at all. Gold text on a white background, very hard to read. So I only want to do this gold color if I'm actually looking at a dark color scheme. So I'm going to wrap this inside the media query. And that's the other part of this. So this prefers color scheme, that is how you can say, here's the colors to use if there's a dark preference that the user has. So we'll say at media screen, and I'm just saying screen print. This is going to make no difference. So it's screen that I want to apply this to. And then our media query prefers color scheme. And then again, we choose which one light or dark. Well, if they prefer dark, 
then this is what I want to do in here. I'm going to say, when they want dark, make all the text gold. Okay, I'll bring this back. We'll jump over to the light. Now I'm back to that default black. When I'm using a dark color scheme, this is what I get. So I have my preference and I'm supporting users and I'm still going to be accessible. So if they're not using the thing that I wanted, which was the dark, scheme, dark color scheme, it'll go back to the system defaults where we're going to get in almost all cases, you're going to get a much more accessible experience instead of just sort of picking the colors that you want. All right. Now, here we defined the root element as having support for color scheme light or dark. We don't have to just apply color scheme to the root element. We can actually say, I'm going to apply this to one or two or multiple elements. So if I remove this, I no longer have that color scheme support. And let's go down and say that this is just the H2 element. Or here, I'll leave that and just comment it out. My H2 element will say the gold. Okay, so if they prefer the dark color scheme, they're going to get gold for the H2. I don't have great support here. So I'm going to say the H2 element, this one supports a dark color scheme. It only supports dark, so now I can, or I can support both light and dark. Now, instead of saying my entire page supports light or dark color schemes, I'm picking one particular element. I'm going to say this H2 tag. You know, I can use defaults for everything else, or I can set CSS that's going to work in either case. But my H2 element, as you change between light and dark color scheme, this is going to change the contents. If they're going to have dark, or not the contents, but the styling, we're going to say background color, and let's just set it to a dark charcoal gray. There we go. So now, if the person is on a dark color scheme, I'll just put some padding around it. This is what they're going to see. Nothing else on the page is changing, but I've highlighted one particular element. So when I toggle between my color schemes, if I'm on light, I'm getting the defaults. But if the person has dark as their preference for color schemes, I'm going to be able to say, okay, my H2 element is going to react to that. Not my entire page, but this one element. Or I can do this type of thing. I can put the color scheme property in whichever elements I want whether I'm using IDs or classes or tag styles, it doesn't matter. I can target one or more elements and say, these things will react to the preference for light or dark. Or if you want the whole page, which is more likely, then put the meta tag in here. Use the meta tag to say, my entire site supports that. So please use the light or dark color group depending on whether or not the person has a preference in their system settings for light or dark. And that's it. So that is the color scheme property and the preferred color scheme media query. If you're looking for a copy of this code, you can get that down in the description. There's a link to a gist with that. So I hope this helps you out. I hope this gets you thinking more about color schemes and what you could potentially do with them. And as always, thanks for watching.